If you are new to this channel, you haven't watched the part 1 of this video, Noob Level 1 reaches 2nd C using the Soul Fruit, I will put the link on the upper right side of the screen or in the description. So check it out if you haven't watched that yet. Again, that's part 1, Level 1 Noob uses Soul Fruit to reach 2nd C. For the second part, we continued helping this noob reach 3rd C. So for level 700 to 1500, I will again put the link in the description or check the upper right side of the screen right now. So for this video, we are going to finally reach max level using the soul fruit. So are you ready guys? But before that, I made a Twitter account. So make sure to follow for future announcements and giveaways. And also guys, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing Robux. With the Ector Slam, oh, they're yes. dancing forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And for this video, we are going to finally reach max level using the Soul Fruit. So let's go. So first off, we're gonna start with the Pirate Millionaire. There you go. So you need to defeat eight. The best way or best area to lure is here. Because you can lure four at a time, you're gonna use your skills to lure your enemies. Why? Because again, the cooldown of the skills of this fruit is really really fast. You can also use some of your souls to summon hopefully the flower with the poison. So again, you're gonna need to defeat eight to finish a quest. And the goal here is to reach level 1525. Moving on, after the millionaire, next stop the pirate billionaires so the best area to grind is here because again you can lure four at a time because you need to defeat eight right so do this twice to finish a quest okay so guys we're gonna level up here until you reach level 1550 and when you reach that level you can start defeating the mini boss in this island and that boss is his tone so I'm gonna show you where his stone is. Guys, it depends to you if you wanna like do server hop until you reach 1575. A tip for all the bosses, make sure to always have 9 souls every time you like fight a boss or mini boss in this map. Okay, there you go. Or, or maybe in any boss, okay? As long as you're using the soul fruit. So guys, server hop or go back to the pirate billionaires. The goal here is to reach level 1575. Oh, we got the pilot helmet, but I still prefer the Santa hat. Okay, moving on to our next island. It's located here. And that island is called the Hydra Island. Before we start grinding, guys, always go here. Arena Trainer, every hour you can go here. As long as you're in this island, this one will give you shards as well as lots of experience early on in our grinding phase so yep uh, make sure to use your uh, souls use the flower that has poison because it will damage it constantly okay so guys moving on we're gonna start defeating the dragon crew warriors and just like the other previous mobs you need to defeat eight so again lure three we go defeat the three here on the other side there's two more defeat those two and go back here to defeat a total of 8 crew members. There you go. We'll do this until you reach level 1600. Thoughts Gamer Nom comparing the 1st, 2nd, and the 3rd C. Guys, 3rd C is kinda challenging for me to be honest. Okay, at 1600, you're gonna start with the crew archers, dragon crew archers. So again, you need to defeat 8, so lure 4 at a time. Guys, avoid getting hit by these. Use your observation hockey the whole time. Use your souls again. These mobs are tough. So for our goal level, it's 1,625. And after that, we are moving deeper into this island. We're going up. For those asking, yes, you can get the Wando Sword here. That's on one of my videos. So we're gonna start here with the female islanders. So you need to defeat eight. You guys, the setting here. Check this out. They're so far apart. But again, the archers are harder to defeat. So what they're gonna do here is defeat two at a time. So two here, lure two, there you go. Defeat them. Oops, not yet defeated. Where is it? Okay, there you go. Okay, defeat two. And two here, 
lure. There you go. You cannot lure for the time. It will go back to the spawn points. So defeat two. That's four. Go back until you reach level 1650. Okay. So after that, guys, next target the giant islanders. So it's your choice if you're gonna stay with the female islanders or go here. Okay. Won't make any uh, difference. The experience are near. So you're gonna lure four here. There you go. Four. Okay. Beat them. If you're gonna ask me, I'll stay with the female islanders. Okay. Our goal in this island is to reach level 1700. But guys, to make things faster, you can start defeating the island empress at level 1675. So here she is. Again, don't forget your souls. Is she hard to defeat? Moderate guys, moderate. There go. There's a chance that oh, we got the serpent bow. So we're gonna use this to lure later. Yeah, first time guys. <laughs> I'm gonna use a gun or a bow to lure later. So again, 1,700. We can now move to our next island, and that island is the green tree. So here we're gonna start and end with the marine commanders. We're gonna skip the next quest. Why? so hard there guys i'm telling you it's so hard i really don't like grinding there so you're, you're gonna defeat three here on the other side three again go back to the first part defeat two okay at 1750 you can start uh, grinding the mini boss in this island the kilo admiral so she's located here again same with the other bosses they're beatable i'm gonna say guys it's not easy check my hp Almost all the bosses here, maybe aside from stone. Okay, there you go. So goal, 1,780. Next up, Turtle Island. So guys, from here, things will be a lot faster. Finally, we're gonna start with the Fishman Raiders. So guys, what I did here is I used the Serpent's Bow to lure 3. The other side 2 and go back to the starting part 3. But guys, on this clip, I showed you I lured 4, right? But I suggest go with 3, 2, and 3, okay? Because if you're not uh, used to luring 4, some of the mobs will go back to the respawn points. Okay, so goal here is to reach level 1,800. And after that, we're moving on to the Fishman Captains. This is easier because you can lure 4 at a time easily. So again, you're gonna lure 4. Burst them. Guys, always use a Wrath of Ra, okay? To when you're gonna attack 4 and end it with the end of times. Do this twice to level up. So guys, we're gonna train here until you reach level 1875 and after that, one of the mini boss in this island, Captain Elephant. Guys, as you notice, we've skipped two quests. Those mobs are hard and they're far apart, so... Again here, by this time guys, you're familiar with the skills. Wrath of Ra, use your souls. Make sure that you have 9. There you go. Defeat him until you reach level 1,800. And after that, we're gonna start with the jungle pirates. So here, you can lure 3 at a time. Use, again, your serpent's bow. Just lure. There you go. Burst it using your Wrath of Ra. End of times. After that, dash to the other side. Defeat 3 again. And for the next part, it really depends on you if you want to defeat 2. That's enough. Defeat 3. For more experience, okay? Okay, so goal here is to reach level 1925. And after that, moving on, Masketeer Pirate. Okay, so here, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lure three again. Start with three here, burst them. Okay, to the other side, there's two. Defeat them, and after that, go back to where you started. Go and that's one quest. So guys, our goal here is to reach level 1975. It really depends on you if you want to do the beautiful pirate here. It really depends on you guys. It's kind of hard, but I was able to beat him with a friend. So it depends on you. Next up, guys, haunted castle. We're gonna start here with the reborn skeleton. So you're gonna lure four using your serpent's bow. There you go. You're gonna burst them using your skills, and that's an easy kill, guys. Again. These mobs are easy to kill, so leveling up here is really, really fast. Our goal level here is to reach level 2000, and after that, we are going to move on to our next target, the living zombies. But 
they're located here guys so you need to defeat eight so again you need to lure four at a time using your serpent's bow so leaving zombies one two three and four okay don't forget to use your souls hopefully you'll summon some there you go that one the poisonous flower again guys the goal here is to reach level 2070 we're gonna skip the two uh, remaining mobs here in this island why they're kind of far apart and they're hard to defeat because they will be using lots of skills so i suggest just focus here okay so let's say you've reached level 2070 we're moving on i think it's 2075 yeah it's 2075 there you go for our final island yes finally this is the new island the sea of treats there you go so we're gonna start here with here it is the peanut scouts so you need to lure four at a time this is the easiest mob in this island obviously because it's the low bit, uh, lowest level right so you're gonna lure four again using your serpent's bow i've really used that bow a lot use a wrath of raw use your end of times use your outraged rage and guys uh if you can just use your soul snatcher to last hit your enemies for more souls okay so our goal level here is to reach level 2100 and after that next up peanut presidents they're easy to defeat lure three here go one two three burst them go defeat them and after defeating them you're gonna move on to the other side or just under this platform and then you're gonna defeat three again and go back to the previous one you're gonna defeat two or three if you want and that's one quest the goal here is to reach level 1025 okay so guys next up on the other island we're gonna start defeating the ice cream chef guys we're gonna skip the ice cream commanders why they're so hard to defeat i'm telling you but if you want go for it but me you're gonna follow this guide stick with the ice cream chefs okay so defeat them until you reach max level and that's it for this video but guys we're gonna defeat the mini boss in this island as our last level you can start defeating her at level 2175 right yeah let's check it out yes 2175 the k queen big mom she is located here so again for the final tips always have nine souls use it wisely use your uh, skills to burst your enemy what else cycle your skills always use your soul snatcher as your last skill okay there you go so guys that's it for this video Cameron, was it hard hmm the enemies are definitely stronger compared to first and second scene. but guys now we have the observation hockey the mastery of the soul fruit max so things are a lot easier in a way but again the enemies are tougher that's why it's a third c right so guys there you go we've reached max level using soul fruit 2200 again guys i hope that you like this finally part one two and three we're done with this chapter so guys what do you think are we gonna do awakening of flame fruit do you want me to level up door fruit do you want me to use the what i call this dark blade or you want me to level up ice fruit comment in the comment section oh the control fruit second c right which is third c so it really depends depending on the comments again guys to all the viewers subscribers supporters i really appreciate you all again this is gamer gamer nom out